Goody YouTube, it's your girl Blossom here, and I am coming back with another video. Before I get into my video, get into my babies. This is Stacy Lynn. She has grown so much, and this is Earl. Earl, that's my first baby, but I don't know. I feel like he's doing well, but I'm loving Stacy Lynn. She's just ooh, look at the luscious hair. But anyways, I wanted to come in to give y'all a quick little VSG video. So, I've been researching VSG since about early 2017. I actually had my surgery in 2018 on March 5th. I said that extremely backwards, sorry. But yes, um, I've been researching VSG a lot. Um, I've been doing a lot of like book work with it. However, I have also, you know, looked at other people's journeys just to see that they, that what they've gone through. However, I'm noticing now with me being a year post-op, yes, I'm a year post-op, I think I'm about 15, no, 17 months post-op, I'm noticing that there is a group of people who had VSG over a year ago and they're starting to gain back weight. Now, I was told by my doctor that it is a strong possibility that you are going to gain back weight when you're a year post-op so that's why i tell people in my videos in my dms that your first year yes your first year is important your first year is to learn new habits break old habits so you're able to move forward and be healthier and with me being a year out i can honestly say that that is the truth why because for me personally i noticed that my restriction has loosened um, a lot of people I hear them say, oh, I can only eat three, four bites. I can't eat three or four bites. Like, I can eat an entire drumstick and I will be satisfied. Like, I'm not completely stuffed, but I'm satisfied. Um, that's something that I have noticed with being a year out is that my restriction, it has loosened, which is normal because your stomach is a muscle and your muscle and muscles tend to, um, they can expand so yes um one thing that i also want to talk about is no motivation i noticed that my motivation level has changed with me being a year out i can honestly say that i am still motivated but it's a different kind of motivated i'm not as motivated as i was my first six months my first six months i was um going to the gym like crazy um, putting all my foods into apps now with me being a year out I don't know if it's that I'm just comfortable with my body now um, I don't track my food um, at the most I may eat up to 1500 calories a day that's like the most but I average out between 1000 to 1100 calories a day um, my eating habits are very plain um, I go in between being a pescatarian and also eating chicken at the same time like for example I was supposed to be pescatarian, but I have some drumsticks that's left in my freezer freezer that I need to finish I don't want to waste the food So I'm just gonna finish that out and then I'm gonna go back to being pescatarian However, I do not eat red meat Why because my body after surgery does not digest red meat well and that's something that you need to pay attention to pay attention to within your first year pay attention to how your body responds to different foods because something that I've seen that's common is for example seafood a lot of people weren't able to eat seafood prior to surgery however now with being post op that's something that they normally eat is seafood um how to be sorry normally with seafood it does not make me bloated um I'm able to be satisfied I don't feel stuffed so that's why I personally prefer to eat seafood um, my typical meal is some salmon with some corn, string beans, or broccoli. Um, I do drink alcohol with being a year out. Um, still, one glass to two glasses of wine will keep me tipsy for a good amount of time. But um, other than that, really what this video is about is stay motivated. Don't be like me. I know I've had a really good journey as well. I'm not going to knock my journey. However, I'm noticing that my motivation to work out is starting to slack. However, I do tend to eat better uh, eating choices. However, I still personally snack for myself. I don't want people to think that I have like this perfect journey and everything like that. I still snack and I think that's why 
I can't get to my weight goal of 155 pounds. I stabilize now between 163 to 168, and that's perfectly fine. I've lost um, 100 and almost 130 pounds since um, pre uh, pre op. Um, about 115 pounds since surgery ish. Well, about 100 pounds since surgery. I actually hit my 100 pounds prior to that. But yeah, I want y'all to continue to be motivated. With this surgery, it is something that is a lifelong journey. And you can easily fuck this up. And that's where I am right now. I'm realizing that I'm at that stage where if I don't implement the things that I learned my first year, I'm going to mess up. I'm going to get back in the 200s. I don't want to get back in the 200s. The only way I get back in the 200s is if I'm pregnant and once I drop that baby, I better be below 200 because that's personally the reason why I got surgery so I can have a whatever. But yes, a lot of people stress out in their first year and I'm here to tell you, if you're stressing out your first year, within your first year, sweetheart, you need to get it together by your nine months because nine months moving on, that's when your weight loss slows down. That's when your body is a debt pretty much adjusted to um, what happened to it. Um, your metabolism may be starting to spread out a little bit. You really have to be careful a year out because I've personally seen people, people that I follow when I was researching, people who I know in my day-to-day -day life that had vertical sleep gastrectomy and they lost all the weight. They were skinny for like a, a year. And after that year, they slowly but surely started to gain weight back. And I don't want to do that. We all know that this journey is not easy. It's hard. And you don't want to waste those years of crying, upset that you can't eat this, upset that it's this big meal in front of you and you can't eat it. You know what I'm saying? Like really 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 try and stay motivated with me eating wise i can say i'm doing pretty good but working out i got to get back into it so in order for me to work out i do have like slightly a busier schedule so i have to put more thought into my workouts i can still work out in the morning i just i just need to wake up but yes yeah, so that's pretty much what i want to say is really 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 within your first six months i only want to say a year the first six months because that's when you lose your most weight is then within six months really really pay attention and really make things a habit make it a lifestyle because once you get past your year mark you're going to have to put in extra work to lose weight you're going to have to put in extra work to maintain shoot by the time my second year comes around I'm going to have to work harder to maintain and I'd be down if I hop on the schedule uh, on the scale and I am 190 120 I get paranoid when I get up in the upper 60s but by the end of the week my weight goes down but I also don't want y'all to think that this is all just work and no play have play in moderation if you want to go out and eat pig out as much as you can do that don't put yourself in a predicament where you just hate eating you're not able to enjoy foods no more you can still enjoy foods but in moderation for example if you know you and your girlfriend's about to have a girls night on Friday night Thursday night if you're a college student Monday through Wednesday shoot Monday to Thursday morning make sure that you're eating right you're getting everything together so by the time that day comes that thursday that girls night you can bench out get drunk tipsy eat as much as your stomach allows you and you probably won't feel like crap the next day you know what i'm saying so really take a really take advantage of your six months because what you learn in your six months i'm gonna say this over and over and over again i might put on a shirt what you learn in your six months is really what you're going to have to implement into your lifestyle a year out. Because like I said, it's harder to lose weight. It's harder to maintain. If you got that mindset of hopping in the Wendy's line or hopping in the McDonald's line, you're going to fail. You're going to fail. So get an accountability partner. If you don't have one, comment it down low. 
um, that you need a kind of accountability partner, reach out to me in my DMs. If I do not respond to your DM, please comment on one of my Instagram posts. Um, reach out to me. Um, I can give you as much tips of the things that I personally went through. However, again, I'm not a doctor, so I can't give you medical advice. Please do not get upset with me if I refer you to your nutritionist or your doctor. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on this video. I hope you have a blessed morning, night, noon, afternoon, night, moonlight. I don't know when you're watching this video, and I'll talk to y'all later. This is.